What's up folks, welcome back for another small business CEO biz tip. Where I'm gonna give you some biz tips in a really short period of time that may transform your life or your business depending on if you use it or not. Here's the big tip of the day. Now this works in life too. You know, what's interesting is how most tips that work to help a business survive would help your life survive. You can, they're always somehow parallel in some kind of way, shape or form. You just, you just gotta find the parable. So here is the big idea. For productivity, how do you maximize productivity? That word that starts with a P, it's capital and it's bold. How do I stay productive? If you're in business, productive means you are getting things done on a regular basis, consistently. You are crossing T's, dotting your I's. You are efficient, proficient. You are everything, you are accelerating, you are growing. I mean, this is what being productive is. You go to work with an agenda, you accomplish it, or you give it your best to accomplish it, and you walk away, you go to sleep feeling good about tomorrow. How do you get this? How do you get this in your business? How do you get to the highest level of productivity? Even in your life, how do you become productive at your highest level? How do you avoid the distractions? Because the distractions are gonna come. See, distractions are all a part of the process. We get mad at the distractions and get upset upset about it, but every distraction really s signifies a learning opportunity. It resembles an, a moment where there can be growth. So, how do we become productive? How do we maximize our productivity? I'll give you two words. And Henry Ford will be very proud of me. Systems and automation. That's right, Henry Ford. The cars, for those who don't know, everyone around the world knows Ford and Ford is not just cars ladies and gentlemen Ford is an idea see Henry Ford when he came onto the scene the the average car the average person who drove a car had money I mean the, the cars were typically only for people of wealth so Henry Ford had this, this idea of as I throw my glasses off my face Henry Ford had an idea of making the car for the common man. It even said it in the paper, the car for the common man. Now, the common man can afford or, or along those lines. So anyway, how he did this was, it took about 13 hours, 10 hours, you know, nine hours, eight hours to make a car. Each car would take that amount of time. Well, Henry Ford created a system, which was the assembly line, and he had the cars and all the pieces for the cars coming down in uniform and people at the stations to man it. That's what created the automation. And because he had the systems and automation, watch this. Now he was able to make cars faster, which then was able to bring the cost of cars down. He also paid his employees more than anyone's ever paid employees at that time. What? I think it's like $5 a day. $5 a day, yeah. I'm talking about minimum wage now. So anyway, the point is systems and automation. And Henry Ford mastered this and you can master it in your life. You gotta find a system, you gotta find a system in your business, marketing, sales, life, whatever it is, you gotta find systems. Then you have to find a way to automate it because with systems and automation, you cut back on cost and time. You can get more done with less effort in less time. Now that's a big idea. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for tuning in. I'll see you for the next Biz Tip. Ha, ha, ha.